What's happening guys, it's Dan from General Tech HQ here and today I'm bringing you some quite surprising news actually from Apple and without even a keynote or any real statement Apple have released a more budget iPod Touch 5th generation so uh, I'm just going to show you all the details right now So overnight last night Apple released a new iPod now don't get too excited, it's nothing there's no really big changes. In fact, they're taking a few features away to make this a cheaper iPod option. So this is of the iPod Touch. Now this is the current iPod Touch 5th generation, which has been a really, really big success with the new Retina display, of course having the same size screen as the iPhone, and in these many colours. And it really is brilliant. But last night came this iPod Touch. Now this is a 16GB model, which of course the current iPod Touch 5th gen doesn't offer a 16GB option, only 32 and 64. So let's go on to this. And this iPod Touch is basically the same as the iPod Touch 5th generation, except it doesn't have a back-facing camera, and it also doesn't have a loop. So it only comes in one colour at the minute, it's a silver and black colour. But it still has the A5 chip, the Apple EarPods, the ultra slim design, and of course the 4 inch Retina display screen. But it's only at $229, and this is the cheaper iPod Touch option, of course, because it has less memory storage and it doesn't have the back facing 5 megapixel camera. So this has come on and Apple didn't really warn any people about this or really haven't promoted it in any way in the form of a keynote speech. They've just bought it here. And maybe this is for people who can't necessarily afford the 32GB or 64GB current iPod Touch 5th gen, uh, which of course also has the 5 megapixel eyesight camera and loop. And this is really just a simpler kind of option, but it still gives you all the great features and really is the same device just without the camera and of course the loop. So do you think this is a good move by Apple and are they just trying to expand to a wider audience and is this a hint that possibly there could be uh, one of those downgraded iPhones this summer that everyone's talking about? What do you think? Do you think this new 16GB Apple Touch is a good move? And what colours do you think they should have it in? Because at the minute it's only in silver and black. Anyway guys, that's Dan from General Tech HQ bringing you the latest Apple news once again. Make sure you subscribe for lots more videos.